I have Morant's Stereos right here. You see this black with silver knobs and the green blue the lighting it's just amazing I had this for a couple years now um, I've been really um, liking this uh, black Morantz um, super scope and I bought this a while ago and this is now rare hard to find maybe in eBay you can see one of this but very rare I'm very lucky uh, I have this in my collections and it has a very nice sound um, the price yeah I would say it's a bit you know a couple hundreds yeah not that I'm not that I'm you know what I'm expecting um, but I don't uh, I cannot help myself so I have to have it and buy it so I paid a couple hundreds for this and uh, uh, yeah um, no question asked it's nice it's one of those um, very expensive uh, Morans couple of thousands of dollars and uh, has a lot of knobs and I believe black uh, what do you call that uh, if I'm not mistaken the 2240 or it could be higher the model is higher than that but you can see guys or if you guys know just leave a comment below um, tell me the model of that black with chrome knobs um, very nice blue light I know it's a couple thousands but uh, it's a it's a really high-end um, Morantz and lots of Morantz um, different models out there guys you can always pick um, from vintage to modern they do have silver uh, face plate they do have black and they do have uh, metal um, Morantz meaning the cover of the, the case of the receiver it's metal but it's painted black they do have um, a wood made everything is wood so they do have different types of models and different uh, you know performance with the uh, stereos back to the conversation here guys um, this one is just, it's not a bad uh, stereo guys I mean the good thing about this guys I did not pay a couple thousands of dollars which it would be nice to have one of those but in a long period of time you know you kind of think about you know the money and uh, um, this you know how to spend hundreds and couple thousands so you kind of do the comparison there um, uh, my mind is always right I don't want to invest a lot of money for stereos um, thousands and thousands it's because guys one of one of these days you know um, people get tired of things and people get tired of not having money um, especially the the thing what's going on today with the which the economy and uh, inflation so you have to be really smart um, spending money and a lot of people nowadays they don't have jobs and they don't have money that's for sure and they really are stressed out and they are depending from the government so my mind is always right about being frugal um, I learned this from my Jewish friends and they teach me how to be frugal and how to save money and spend less even though you're spending but not spend money you know um, like spend thousands and thousands and uh, 
you don't want to spend um, high um, when you spend money you just think of what's necessary you know you don't really think of what you want to spend it's because you wanted to prove or to show to people or your friends or your families that you have money it's not about that eyes are not blind so they can see and the more quiet you are they know better they can feel it they will think they will know and people are you know yapping too much and those are the people that has a lot of you know issues and problems with money so my, my Jewish friend told me you just be calm and be frugal and have money and you will be fine you don't have to prove or show so that's how I learned from my Jewish friends and where I live here guys about 30 minutes 40 minutes by the beach there's a lot of Jewish people there and I know some people there and another place you go in south I know a place there that a lot of Jewish and I met them before and I know some few Jewish people and I socialize with them and some of them are become they become my friends so I know exactly um, how to be smart now I know because they teach me so like I said I don't want to invest a lot of money for stereos it's because people getting older and then one day you're gonna retire and you know you're not gonna have a job anymore so you're gonna think about your money um, you're gonna think about having money in your bank so th this this is my first thought about not having expensive expensive stereos even though I can I can get it I can buy it but I don't want to and I do like the vintage looks just like my like my Sansui uh, vinyl record player I do I do love the looks of the vintage and uh, than the modern stereos nowadays they're very high-tech the modern ones nowadays and they really cost a lot of money and then eventually you get tired of listening to vinyl records and I heard this from a lot of people that they're already older and old already and some of those studios they give it up already they let it go they sell it um, they just don't want to deal with it so imagine guys doing that for many many years just doing that until you get old you know it's not really the the type of life that you want to be into because sitting and listening to music all day five six seven days a week is just not a good thing so I do collect and I do want to have stereos it's because when I was a kid I already messing with stereos my dad's stereos my these vinyl record players and his stereos with the speakers so that is why when I grew up then this is you know how I um, see and how I grow with it you know so getting growing up getting older then this is the outcome that is why I love stereos but it doesn't mean that I want to spend a lot of money I want to waste my money for stereos and speakers because they do really have expensive expensive stereos Macintosh um, Lock, uh, Luxman um, Lafayette those are thousands of money and those higher higher uh, um, stereos it could be ten thousand dollars could be thirty thousand could be fifty thousand there's some cable audio cables could cost could cost ten thousand to thirty thousand and I saw this in YouTube and I'm not gonna do that I don't want to spend a lot of money like that and I'm happy that this Marantz you know and I still have uh, the 1040 here 
and I still have some rants. I have the 40, 40, uh, 40, 40, 40, 30, and the SR5100. And I do have Morant's, the modern one, the black ones. And I do have the 2020. So I have a couple of Morant's here and Sansui's. And I'm good. You know, I have Pioneer even here. I still have Pioneer in the back of this, uh, you see? Still there. And some up there. So I have, I have stuff, guys. I have stuff. And I'm good with this now. I don't want to buy anymore. And I still have a lot of stereos in the garage. I have... Luxman, I have uh, Lafayette, I have Pioneer, um, what else I have there, man, Toshiba, I have Sony, I have speakers there, I have turntables, man, I, I have stuff, I have stuff, and I don't want to buy no more, you know, um, even here, guys, I show you guys over here, I still have some stuff here, let's see, turntable here, Techniques, um, JVC and Fisher. Uh, I have Tuscam tape deck and CD player, and I have the the Kenwood amplifier down there. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Um, I do have stuff, and I'm not buying no more. And I'm good with this Morantz here, this setup here. And I'll let you hear the ten. 1040 guys. Fans, call your own plays during the NFL playoffs with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because when you bet NFL same game parlays from now through January 16th, all Sounds customers can get good. up to $100 in free bets, win or lose. All you have to do is place a total of $20 or more. Yeah. This 1040 guys it sounds amazing. It's not that big as my 4430. Um, it's bit smaller than this uh, black um, Marantz I have down here but they do sound amazing guys and I still have a beautiful beautiful speaker here as you can see very very nice speakers guys I love this and I bought the speakers from my friend this speaker is very heavy and you want to let it go it's because yeah, it's getting older and it's heavy for him and he don't want to deal with it. So he bought a small speakers, but it sounds amazing. Yeah. So the money that I paid for this, uh, he probably added. Yeah, he added to uh, to his new speakers. Very nice speakers, guys. I love the speakers. Yeah. And even here I have uh, Sansui right here. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And over here, guys, still have some stereos, as you can see. I have JVC, I have turntable up there. Yeah. So I, I got stuff, guys. I got stuff, I got stuff. And I got more down here. Uh, this Asumi here, this SB2000. So it's amazing, amazing. Yeah. So Morantz, guys, it's a good uh, investment. You know, if you want to buy... Um, a good good stereos that you're not gonna spend thousands of money Morantz stick with Morantz um, it's, it's a good stereo it's, it's a good receiver has a good quality of sound um, the stability the toughness the looks amazing amazing as you can see this beautiful beautiful piece here amazing guys and later on I'm gonna uh, next time I'll make a video of this but right now I'm using this um, than 40 here. Coffee cake flavored yeah. coffee. Great morning start at Wawa. It sounds amazing. This Morantz and Sansui SP2000. So, this is my investment here um, that not cost thousands and thousands of money. But I'm very happy with my stereo system, um, what I have, and what I collect. Because, yeah, I believe. Um, yeah, I would say maybe yeah, a couple thousands I spent for all my stuff from time and time and time. Um, you know, you keep buying from one piece, two piece, and then it all adds up. You know, um, weeks, months, years. So this is what happened. But still, guys, um, didn't cost me like other 
serial collector out there, like modern ones, guys. Like one turntable can cost ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars or more, and their stereo system alone, guys, could cost maybe thirty thousand dollars. So I would not do that. So yeah, um, like I said, guys, if you're a beginner or you want to have, have a good stereo, um, yeah, you can start from. Uh, maybe techniques and don't spend a lot of money okay if you can get it from flea market or garage sale or in Facebook they do sell stereos in Facebook or offer up start from there maybe you can spend like maybe hundred dollars but don't spend too much because what's gonna happen guys one day you're gonna upgrade to a better one so you might think like I want to get Sansui next time and then later on, I want to upgrade to Marantz. That's how it is, guys. And I've done this before. Even my watches collections, I started from cheap ones and then to mid and then to high, then to high ends. So, same thing with the watches. You go from a low price to a higher price. And it's not a good thing because you spend and spend and spend. Even it's cheap. And then you keep building and you keep you know spending so start from uh, maybe hundred dollars if you can get it from Philly market get a $25 or $40 turntable and the speaker sometimes they do sell that for $20 or 25 it depends what kind of speakers how many how many watts how big is the woofer and then get a receiver there's 20 30 uh, receiver out there $30 and then you, you listen to that until you know you decided to get a high-end one that's only if you don't have the money yet so you can start from there but if you already have the money you know either if you want Sansui or Marantz or Aquaface or Luxman or you really want to go to a high, 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 high end um, Macintosh. So it depends, you know, with your budget. So, but uh, like I said, you can always get a good uh, receiver in eBay, but you have to pay the shipping and handling because they are heavy. So you have to pay for that. And you have to put in a consideration that they do have to pay eBay and you know the shipping costs because they are heavy merchandise so um, you are responsible for that so you have to pay for that shipping and handling but still you can get the used Marantz or Sansu in eBay um, you don't need to buy like a thousand dollars receiver you know or if you don't want to want Marantz you can Pioneer is a good one. Pioneer is a good receiver. Um, I do have my SX838. It's a nice sound, guys. Very nice sound. Um, very, very cool. Um, Pioneer. Matter of fact, guys, uh, let me go over here. I want you to hear the sound of the Pioneer down here. Yeah. So... Um, to do something here maybe maybe later um, I don't know what's going on but it is oh that's why it's aux okay let's put in FM let's go over here yep right there here we go so it has a it has a beautiful sound guys back here do have um, it has a beautiful sound a beautiful beautiful piece it's gonna be difficult it'll be fun we'll push the envelope I promise you this we have 
Listen to the get a good stereo system it takes time um, you just have to be patient and look around first don't get too excited yeah um, you can always google it there's so many stereos speakers receivers turntables all you have to do is study it first and watch it in YouTube among um, how it sounds and um, how it looks and the price yeah because when you get too excited and then you pay for the merchandise already and you take it home and uh, later on you regret because now you have the, mer the, the stereo system in your house and then you want a good one or you saw in, in, in eBay or YouTube uh, better stereos and now you want that one and you already bought the other one so now you have two stereo system set up in your house so make sure take your time study look for it um, in, in flea market look for it in, in, in eBay or and uh, um, offer up you know uh, you can download offer up you can download it from your phone download the apps and give them your information everything because they're going to ask you information there and then you have to put your name and your last name whatever and your phone number or area code and then that's how you get into offer up and you can see a lot of stereos in there and you can choose which one you like so there's there's a lot of um, ways how to buy stereos that you would not spend a lot of money and I experienced this um, I'm a stereo collector and uh, I've been um, buying stereos uh, vintage stereos and speakers so I do have knowledge about this you know which one is good and which one is not and well to begin with there is a lot of good stereos different brands um, it's just you know it's just the way how you set it up your stereos and by the way equalizer will help improve the sound of your system of your turntable um, all you have to do is plug it in this the the turntable to your equalizer the equalizer to your receiver or amplifier and that would make the sound much better like the one i have here so i just put it on the side here that. that's the equalizer yeah so every time i turn on my system here that goes on and it helps the sound of I do not want to put the equalizer up here because it gets too high now and it looks it looks ugly so it would be better if this is two only here but maybe I can find a way and move that stuff there and put this one up there because I don't want to st st stuck yeah I don't want to stack this high um, it gets ugly looking but uh, for now it's okay so yeah be smart with you know be smart with your money and be smart how you buy your stereo system especially if you're a beginner um a lot of people out there guys they have vintage stereos um, different state they can ship it to your house all you have to do is look around um read the descriptions and read uh, read his um history about selling you know make sure that he has a good feedback because if he doesn't then you get your money they get your money and then you get pissed off because it could be damaged or something wrong with the so you want the honest person when you buy stereos you know you want an honest person that will give you a good benefits from your money because 
and once you pay them it's kind of like there's no turning back you know unless there is like a return policy in ebay um you can return that so yeah there's minimum days could be i don't know seven 14 days so it depends so make sure buying stereos take your time um get some knowledge you can get um you can get knowledge from youtube from watching the videos with different stereos a lot of people are even me i do have um, youtube profile i do have youtube um, videos that i you know um, well you're watching it now so um yeah just make sure when you buy stereos you know um, read and read and read and get details from online or youtube because that's how you're gonna get uh, the right stereos for you so yeah so this is another video guys um simple video um just having a conversation or i just want to talk about morans and um, i want to talk about buying stereos that you don't want to spend a lot of money so i hope it will help other people out there watching this video and yeah and hit the subscribers guys and hit all so next time when i have or upload a new video it goes straight to your uh, youtube profile so once again guys be smart with your money and enjoy um, music so for now i say bye bye